Hello. So the hunter achievement. They see me rolling. Destroy three minions. Five minions with a single death roll. And since it's destroy a certain number of things with a single card, we're just going to try to shoot right past the three and hit five. If we can, this one might be tricky. So the death roll itself, destroy an enemy minion, deal damage equal to its attack, randomly split among all enemies. So since it says among all enemies, that could be the opponent's face as well. So there's no guarantee that any of the pings hit any minions. But, you know, in general, they should. And if you want to hit five minions at a, in a single death roll, so certainly you'll want to target something with a high attack and then ideally they have four other things that are very low health. Um, in order to help with that, Catch of the Day will give them a 2-1 Worm. Leroy Jenkins will give them two 1-1 one, one Whelps, but of course that's 10 mana together so that may not be the, the best. But also... Uh, Leroy Jenkins could reduce the um, health of another minion by six. And the catch of the day also could do that. And then a uh, crazed alchemist could be used to manipulate the enemy's uh, health uh, and attack that way as well. So I'm going to build around these and see what I come up with. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and admit I'm a little bit at a loss here of how to make this consistent. Um, so this is a bit of a mess. But I wanted some cheap damage. So I've got Arcane Shot and Quick Shots as way of maybe reducing some high health minions before I uh, cast a death roll, possibly. Tracking to look for whichever things I need to at whatever time. Armor Vendors to help with my own survivability and the barrels of monkeys a little bit of uh, spell damage in blood mage thalnos and celestial thought shot um, spell damage probably affects death roll in a not very efficient way I'm guessing for instance if you hit a 10 attack minion with it it would do 12 damage split amongst the enemies, but um, that Celestial Shot spell damage could make your Arcane Shot one mana deal four to a specific th enemy and reduce it to one or two health itself. Something like that. And I don't think the Celestial Shot has to be on the same turn, so maybe you could do this on the turn before or whatever. Clearance Promoter, just to reduce the cost of spells in my hand, since that could allow me to, for instance, Leroy and Death Roll and maybe Arcane Shot something, you know. In the meantime, just trying to draw into the stuff that I need. And I guess we will see if this works. Sylvanas versus the Lich King! I will crush your defiance as I crushed your city. I will never serve. By the way, this is attempt number three. Death 
The moment is upon us. need break it you buy it break it you ah! buy it The Citadel stands strong! I'm going to let this turn play out because this is where my mental math is coming into play. I'm thinking it's possible here. Between the crazed alchemist, the catch of the day, and the celestial shot, there's a number of ways that this turn I could play out. You love my new recipe. <laughs> I'm hesitating here because I'd really love to get uh, 11 or 13 damage off of the death roll than just 8 or 10, but I think I kind of already know in my heart the only valid target for the death roll here is the giant. I have no time for games. 1, 4, 7, 8, this should do 10. This will work if only to hit him. Okay. The Citadel stands strong. Oh, 
yeah, and certainly it's time to lose the game now. Low in price, high in fun. One more death can't hurt. You are prepared for the wars to come. Okay, we did manage it. Now, you only saw Tier 2 pop up because I got Tier 1 in my second attempt where there was technically a chance for it to happen but the damage pings needed to happen exactly right, and they didn't. So I got three, but not five. And even in this one, um, I got a little bit lucky because only two pings could have gone to the face. Uh, I'm gonna check my math when I look at the editing screens and actually count how everything came out, but still, this achievement does actually rely pretty heavily on um, what kind of board your opponent has, and I, I put in as much control over that as I could, and I needed it. And even those locations, I was, I was a little hesitant to put the, the battle cry reducing locations, but I needed the cost reductions to make this happen. So I'm going to go ahead and stand by this deck. You have a good one.